certain content areas are more susceptible to having problems with retention. Mathematics is the primary uh, content area because our content builds upon itself. So usually what you learn in the last chapter then becomes foundational pre-skills for the next chapter. So when kids don't remember things, it creates more challenges in learning new information in math. Now, other subject areas are not as susceptible to this, but mathematics is the most susceptible area. And this is where teachers say, I'm struggling because they don't have the background. They don't have the pre-skill. They don't have this. They have holes and it's causing issues with the new content. So what these strategies are designed to do is to keep this information accessible. If you learn something new and then it's not accessible later, what's the point? So what we want to keep in mind as teachers is there are instructional techniques designed to help kids acquire information. But then there's a whole other set of techniques that are designed to help kids keep information accessible. And for whatever reason, a lot of these techniques have not really penetrated into the education system. And what I, what I mean by that is they're just not common. So as you're thinking about what you do, to help kids retain information, the three things that you have to take into account is the timing of when you revisit a topic, the sequence of the problems when you revisit them, and are you providing some free recall paired with feedback? So there are different practice activities have different purposes. The purposes of all three of these are to keep information accessible to students. So, so I call those components ingredients and there are negotiable ingredients and non-negotiable. So my analogy here is if you are cooking baking chocolate chip cookies, a non-negotiable ingredient is chocolate chips. If you don't put chocolate chips in the recipe, you do not get chocolate chip cookies. So if you do not have one of those three elements in an activity, timing, sequence, and free recall, you are not helping retention. And I think that is the key piece. You're only helping short-term learning. 